Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at whoops, what happens when you have in, ah, incomplete dominance. Okay, so this is when, for example, you've got these three different, oh no, let's erase that. Go away. You've got three different genotypes here and three different phenotypes. So, like big, medium, and small. Notice how that's different from when we had simple dominance in the first example both the heterozygote and the homozygous dominant had the same phenotype. Okay? In our last example, they were both black. But in complete dominance, we've got three separate phenotypes for the three genotypes. And here's the other key thing, is that this middle phenotype is intermediate between these two, like a mix or a blend. Okay, we'll show how that's different from codominance in the next example. Anyway, so let's check out a example. Okay, yes, it will destroy the current drawing. Okay, so we've got rabbits. We've got here's a rabbit, and we're crossing it with another rabbit, big ears, only these guys have long fur. Okay, so have a look. If we look the uh, Rex rabbit, these guys, they've got short velvety fur. That's like this, uh, this guy over here. And these guys, Angora rabbits, rabbits have really long hair. So if we go back here, it turns out that the hair gene is intermediately dominant or incompletely dominant over the short velvety rex hair trait. So we'll use A for Angora and we will use R for rex. Okay. And we know that when we have A, R combined, that genotype, the heterozygote, is going to give us medium hair, so shaggy hair. Okay. So if we cross an Rex rabbit with an Angora rabbit, we get all medium rabbits. Right. We're going to get medium all medium hair rabbits oh no battery bat low time to wrap it up okay all right